More clashes on the streets of Bangkok. These anti-government protesters are determined to disrupt formal preparations for an election in Thailand next year. They're calling for political reform and want the country's prime minister, Yinglak Shinawat, to step down. They say political change must take place before any vote can be held. Today's demonstrators tried to break into a stadium being used as a registration venue for election candidates. Police fired tear gas to disperse them. Several protesters were reportedly taken to hospital with minor injuries. Today the election commission has asked all the political parties to attend the draw for the ballot numbers. The police officers necessary to protect the candidates and the security of the building will remain. Earlier this month, Prime Minister Yinglak dissolved parliament and called for a snap election following a wave of anti-government rallies. She has also proposed setting up an independent reform council to further appease protesters. The National Reform Council will not be a government forum. It will be a genuine council of the people's representatives. Selection of members will begin with the recruitment of 2,000 representatives from various professions. Demonstrators are unconvinced. Their leader, Sotep Toguban, says he wants to set up an unelected council of his own in place of elections. For now, registration for the poll continues. But protesters have pledged to keep obstructing preparations and the country remains divided. Serena Chowdhury, BBC News.